so uh, good afternoon, Mr. Kumar, and uh, thank you so much for uh, granting us uh, the access to um, your restoration site here at the Prum Temple, sir, in Siem Reap uh, province. And, and we are standing right now in front of the uh, the southern gate yeah, yeah. of uh, the Prum Temple, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, just to begin uh, our first question, so can you tell us a bit about, uh, you know, what we are doing right now uh, behind us here, sir? I mean, the gate was uh, falling down completely and now you are uh, picking it up, reassemble it again, sir? Sosdai Perosil, myself, Chitranjan Kumar, Assistant Superintendent Archaeological Engineer from Archaeological Survey of India. Right now, I am working as a team leader of ASI. Archaeological Survey of India has been carrying out the conservation and restoration work of this outstanding and remarkable structure in cooperation with Australian National Authority and under guidance of ICC experts, Embassy of India and ASI headquarters, New Delhi. Okay. Uh, ASI has undertaken this uh, most challenging task for safeguarding and uh, conserving this structure. Yes, sir. ASI has adopted multidisciplinary and integrated approaches mm. by including and collaboration with professional in uh, from the field of uh, archaeology, epigraphy, hydrology, architecture, hydrologist, uh, and engineer, and other experts from respective fields. Right now, we are standing at the south gate of this Tapram Temple complex. Yes, sir. Whenever ASI had taken up this project, that time this structure are partly collapsed. Mm. Partly so collapsed. They, they were not open for public. Yeah, so. not open for public. So after doing all the methodologies such as we have prepared the detailed documentation, mm. photo documentation, numbering of each uh, stone, yes, prepared sir. the database of each, each stone, from where this stone belongs, either whether from foundation, whether from plane, whether from linter and top portion. Oh. Mm. So after do, doing the, all the documentation, yes, sir. we make the trial assembly, you can see here. So putting all the stones in their po in their proper position. So after trial assembly, now mm. we found the adject regular shape. Yes, sir. And then we placing there. So after that, also we perform the scientific clearance work here, mm. so that we can know the adject position of foundation, their conditions, and also we collected the soil sample and the stone sample and sent to the lab, so that we can find out the physical, mechanical, and chemical property of this structure. Yes, sir. So after sending the, after sending the, all the stone in labs, and also we are using, uh, using same uh, old stone, okay? So lab already certified there, whatever the stone we are using, having the same property here. Yes, sir. Yeah. But sir, in, you know, the Onko Archaeological Park, you know, there are many temples and, you know, starting from uh, when Onko was enlisted as a UNESCO World Heritage. 1992, yeah. Yes, yeah. 1992. Yeah. You know, each country, they, uh, you know, they choose their own restoration site. Okay. You know, for example, uh, of course, uh, like uh, uh, Japan, they choose uh, Bayouan and, yeah, yeah. you know, the US, they choose uh, Makai or you know, Perkan, something like that. Sir. Yeah, yeah. But what is... Uh, the reason behind India choosing uh, Taprum, sir, I mean, what is, uh, you know, like, um, is there any, you know, let's say, yeah, yeah. connection uh, with Taprum? Uh, first of all, we have started the conservation work of Angkor Wat in yes, 1980. Sir. 1980? Yeah, yeah, 1980. Yeah, yeah. And after doing all the technical study, documentation, physically we started in 1986 and mm. then completed in 1993. Thereafter, again, in the year 2001, uh, then Honorable Vice President of India visited Cambodia. Mm. Thereafter, again, the then Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Atal Bihari Bajpayee, visited here. And that time, the royal government of Cambodia requested to provide your assistance in order to conserve this outstanding, remarkable temper of Taprong. Yes, That's sir. why our country taken up this project here, mm. as per the request made by the Cambodian side. Yes, sir. But you know, when you come here, maybe uh, more than twenty years ago, Taprum, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, how how badly damaged, uh, you know, I mean, on the temple itself. I like, already mentioned that uh, yeah. our then Vice President of India and uh, then Prime Minister of India visited that times. Mm. So that time uh, they sent a, a team of expert 
to mm. go there and prepare a feasibility report and thereafter detail a uh, progress re uh, project reports yes sir so that time when our team came here they find all the structure are badly damaged mm. in deteriorated and dilapidated conditions yes sir so such as a uh, third enclosure on eastern side causeway uh, connecting to third and fourth enclosure Mm -hmm. uh, Western Gopura on 4th enclosure, Western Gopura on 5th enclosure and also Hall of Dancer, East Gate, South Gate. So they are barely damaged. Mm -hmm. oh. So but we have divided all the project in three phases. Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3. But, but most of the damage are done by the trees uh, because the trees, you know, they they go into the temple and then they separate the stone. Uh, there are the lot of, lots of factors uh, mm. uh, having for damage. Yes, so sir. on uh, human vandalism, trees, action of vegetation, mm. uh, tree root penetrating inside the structure. Yes, sir. And also neglecting, uh, lack of maintenance, uh, failure of founders. There are lots of factors. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. For the damaging of this structure. Yes, sir. I, uh, maybe a year ago, I uh, used to interview an expert from ASI also during the uh, UNESCO meeting at uh, uh, the hotel in Siem Reap, sir. Okay. Uh, he said that ASI has, uh, you know, let's say, restore a lot of temples because yeah. India is also a very big place for yeah. archaeology, sir. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I assume that, you know, you have a lot of technicality when it comes to restoration. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, just a bit of a technical, uh, you know, question, sir, because you know, for example, before a restoration can, can be carried out, yeah, yeah. and every temples are very different, sir. Okay. They face a different, okay. uh, you know, problem, and you know, each temple have different sizes. Okay. They are meant from different yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, what what are the processes before you can restore the temple? You know, for example, what kind of data do you collect, or you know, do you outsource uh, restorers in Cambodia, in India, or maybe oh. in other countries, sir? So as I already mentioned you, yes, so sir. whenever our first team came here, so of first of all they prepare the detailed documentation, yes, sir. such as a photography documentation, a, mm. a drawing documentation, numbering. Thereafter, we engage the experts from respective field, such as mm. a, uh, in the field of geology, geology. hydrology, geotechnical engineer, uh, geologist. Uh, body cost so from the field of horticulturists yes, so from the respective field we, we hire all and mm -hmm. their team came here and collected the data with analyzing laboratory and thereafter we got the scientific results on the basis of these scientific results so we can identify which structure is more damaged and on the basis of that data and the recommendation made by ICC we have taken up the work here Yes, sir, but you know, a bit deeper, for example, for, I mean, you collect the data, let's say, from the stone. Yeah. So, so what do you look at the stone, sir? You look at their strength or, you know, when you look at the soil, you look at their, you know, what, what kind of a composition they are made, made from, something like that, sir? I already uh, yeah. mentioned you yeah. that uh, there are the lots of factors for the collapse mm. of the structure. Yes, Water sir. stagnation, failure of foundation mm. and already in earlier time, uh, they don't have any bonding property. Bonding, so all, oh, binding property. Yeah, yeah. All the stones have dry masonry, okay? Mm. They don't have any binding property. So that's why we collect the soil sample from the foundation, yes, at the sir. center of foundation. We also collect the uh, stone sample. Also, we laser scanning all the roots which are penetrating inside the structure. Mm -hmm. Also, we make the photogrammetic uh, scanning, laser scanning. So, lots of study here we uh, implemented here. And after getting all the data in scientific way, we uh, take up the conservation work here. Yes, sir. Yeah. But again, uh, because you know the room is a very big place. Okay. So uh, there should be, you know, at at first there should be somewhere to begin with. So, first of all, where did you begin the first restoration on the yeah, prom? Yeah. And why did you pick that place, sir? Okay. So, when you have our team will came, yeah. so that time uh, we did all the technical study. Mm -hmm. And after the discussion held with the uh, Australian National Authority and ICC ad hoc experts. Mm -hmm. First, we chose the third enclosure on eastern side. The third enclosure of the eastern side, sir. On eastern okay. side. Yeah, yeah. In order to highlight the uh, architect architectural features of that structure. Mm, so yeah. so uh, if, if I cut you a bit, so at first the eastern side 
it's very damaged. Yeah. And when people go Hard inside, enclosure on eastern side. Mm, so yeah. in order for the tourists to feel the, yeah, the yeah, size yeah. of the yeah, temple. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So for for aesthetic reason first. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. And then you know you you continue to the dancers uh, hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I already mentioned third yeah. enclosure wall. Uh, then a western entrance uh, mm -hmm. gate on fourth enclosure, yes, and also uh, western entrance gate mm -hmm. on fifth enclosure. Also having some uh, enclosure yes, wall on the uh, fifth enclosure. So lots of structure, mm -hmm. and also if some structure having in critical, and after getting the request uh, from the Afsar Authority and ICC, we also uh, gave the temporary support, temporary support that structure. Oh, temporary support. support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because in one time we can't take up the, all the work, mm -hmm. so we need documentation, a study. So yes, before sir. taking up any work, we provide that temporary support to that the structure. What What do you mean by temporary support, sir? So temporary support means uh, we are providing uh, some propping, wooden mm -hmm. propping, some supports like that. So, yeah. So, like so that for example, time yeah, being, yeah, we, yeah. Can, uh, we can we uh, can extend that structure. That that oh. structure will not collapse. Yeah, and after doing all the study, we can again restore that structure properly. And uh, yes, sir, because uh, you know, following on, the prom, you know, it is well known for the trees. Okay. You know, because uh, not many. I mean, yes, uh, of course. Like uh, for example, Prakan, I think they also have uh, some trees. Yeah. At Kokke, they also have some trees. But oh. here at the prom, the trees are very well known. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, at the same time, sir, the trees, they also push up the temple, they also separate the stone. So, you know, how do you try to maintain the temple without collapsing, but also without compromising the life of the trees? Sir? I know there are many debates and there are many uh, compromises. So how do you do that compromises, sir, for example? As you know that this Tapron temple is also called a tree temple. Tree temple, yes. And having the remarkable symbiosis between tree and heritage structure. Hmm. So we have to give the same attention to the tree and as well as the structure. Hmm. So in the same manner, we are conserving tree and also we are conserving to the stone structure. Because tree are growing from over the century. Hmm. So now, the roots of tree making one bonding with the structure. If we mm. remove the structure, it's the more chance that the structure may be collapse. So, okay. so yeah, I, I heard that when 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 you kill the tree, the tree will die and then the, the, the stone will come loose. But here here we are not dying mm. the tree. We are preserving tree as well as the structure. Okay. Oh, we are giving okay. the uh, lots of support to the tree and we are conserving in proper way, scientific way I, after getting the uh, recommendation and session from ICC experts. Mm. So here, tree are helping to us, not the, hurting to uh, oh, the our tree, structure. The tree is helping you. Yeah, helping you, helping our structure. Really? Oh, because okay. already I explained that tree grown over mm. the century. If yeah. right now, if we move all the roots, it's very difficult to bond all the stones. Okay. Mm. So now tree helping the structure. But at the same time, you know, you you cannot let them grow, grow all over the place, right? You need to trim them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes whenever any branch uh, fall down, that time be pruning and trimming that uh, branch. Yes, After sir. getting the recommendation from ICC. Yes, sir. Um, another idea because uh, you know I heard this from uh, I think his name is um, Professor Munir Bushnaki. Uh, my team has interviewed him before. He said that at the prom, uh, there's some part you leave it as the way it is. You don't restore it, you know, in order for the tourists uh, to come and see, you know, okay, uh, you know, the element of nature has done this to the temple. But some other area, we need to recreate it again, you know, assemble it again to understand that, okay, it used to look like this in the past. So how do you balance again, sir, between keeping what it is there and renovate what is, uh, you know, You broken? already know, I think the yeah. total uh, area of uh, this Tapron uh, Temple can complex is about one square meter and mm -hmm. having the lots of similar structure yes, sir. gallery vault gate pediment so having the similar structure okay mm. so already we have already conserved some similar structure uh, such as uh, gallery gate pediments also some structure left so always we are following the recommendation made by icc as well as the suggestion made by afsar national authority Mm. So we are here to conserve all the structure. 
but since we be getting approval of some structure, that's why we are conserving the same. Mm. If ICC will give permission to conserve all, we are in position to conserve yeah. all the structures. But according but to But whenever, yeah. whenever tourists coming here, yes, sir. they visualize, observe, mm. some structure collapse and in reduced condition, some already conserved, so they can differentiate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how a structure was uh, restored right now and how was the condition of present structure. So they can uh, differentiate, visualize that structure. Yes, sir, but you know, according, to, uh, I mean, as a tech, uh, you know, as a technical expert in restoration also, you, you feel like, you know, keeping one new and keeping one old is a good way for tourists to, to, to see, you know, the, the two aspects of temples across time, let's say. As you know very yeah. well, the principle of restoration is that it remains as it is. So we are mm. co we are not changing the any ethics and outer yeah. dimension of a structure. Okay. So we are conserving on the same way whatever a structure exists there. Okay. Mm. So we are following the same techniques. Okay. Yes, same style, same outer dimension, same everything. Okay. Mm. So if anyone, if any layman can visualize, they understand that a structure exists over the year. Okay. Mm. They can't understand this structure has been restored or conserved. Yes, sir. Yeah. Of course. And uh, you know, sometimes we also need modern equipment or modern material in order, you know, to, to restore a temple. I mean, as quick as possible, but at the same time, you know, to, let, to make it last longer, sir. But, you know, if we use uh, too much, let's say, modern uh, material, it somehow loses the authenticity of the temple itself, sir. So, as a restorer, how, where do you use the, let's say, traditional technique? And where do you reserve for the modern techniques, sir, let's say? So always, uh, as far as possible, uh, the temple, uh, Tafan temple is concerned, we are always using the maximum traditional techniques. Traditional but techniques. there, uh, there we don't have any uh, uh, traditional method to conserve. Mm -hmm. And after the, all the technical study and the recommendation made by ICC, we are using some techniques such as uh, now uh, we got some broken stone. Okay, mm -hmm. So for mending that structure, we are putting threaded stainless steel and also epoxy resin in 2 to 1 ratio mm. so that we can uh, provide uh, the strength to that the structure because there we don't have any option so that's why we are using their th uh, threaded stainless steel and epoxy resin but if we don't use the steel and we, if we don't use the epoxy and and if we put the stone traditionally together they will fall down easily back yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah because yeah. already though break and collapse are having mm. cracks so we need one additional material so make a good bond between two stones so having the good adhesive bond between two the block that's why we are using as per the recommendation made by icc on mm. the similar way so on the roof and tower we are putting the coating of polymer mm. and mix with the stone dust of same texture oh, so so that I water see. will not penetrate inside the structure and mm. our structure more safe Yes, sir. So some uh, some modern techniques we are using mm -hmm. after the, the recommendation made by ICC. Yes, sir. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong, sir, because I have never been to India yet, you know. Uh, in Cambodia, there are many Hindu temples. So do you think that the Hindu temples in Cambodia look similar to the one in India from, let's say, a period of, some, you know, some, some king or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. The, mm. Some structure uh, existing here, mm -hmm. having the same period in India, yeah. So the same, yeah, same, uh, same yeah. art, architecture, everything have. Mm. And you already uh, mentioned yeah. that India is a vast country, so we have lots of structure, mm. uh, having a Hindu temple, Buddhist temple, church, Muslim structure. So we have lots of uh, structure there. So we have the experience in multidisciplinary fields. So when you, for example, when you um, uh, restore Hindu temples in Cambodia. It's not really hard for you, right? So because you understand, you know, let's say the mythical connection, you know, where the temples elements are, it, it is quite easy for you also because you have that. In because the we have already had the experience mm. to conjure these types of structure. Yes, sir. So we didn't face any uh, problems to conjure this structure. Yes, sir. And uh, being a Hindu, if I'm conjuring the Hindu temple, I'm feeling uh, closer to our uh, religion. But mm. being an expert, what is the, if I heard the structure given to us, we are considering the same, mm. irrespective of any religion, Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim. So we are the expert. What the, what the uh, structure given to us, we are considering the same. Suppose such as doctor, 
giving treatment to any patient, mm. irrespective of any Buddhism, Hindu, Muslim. Okay, yes, so we are the same. Can you bring all the instructions in the same way? Yes, sir. And uh, because, uh, for example, this uh, entrance over here is still continuing, you know, to be restored. So, how long will the restoration at the room continue, sir? And uh, do you try to, you know, like let's say restore other part of the room, like this one also, for example? So right now, yes, sir. one time we can't conserve all the parts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is the structure given to us by the Australian Authority? and uh, ICC experts, we are conserving the same. Mm -hmm. we, I already explained, mentioned you that we have already completed the uh, phase one and phase two restoration work. Right, mm -hmm. now, right now we are working on the phase three. Phase three we have included hall of dancer mm -hmm. and uh, eastern gate yes, on sir. 15 closure, southern gate on 15 closure, middle entrance GoPro and near western causeway and having one a small enclosure wall. Mm. So we have already completed the Hall of Dancer and handed over to Upsan National Authority. Yes, sir. I think uh, in the year 2022, that time our Vice President of India, Jagdeep Bhakkar, visited. And that time we handed over that structure to Upsan National Authority. In, again, in, in 2022, we started the work of East Gate. And mm. I think almost 70% we have completed. Yes, and sir. we tried to, in coming one and two years, we complete that structure and hand over to a French authority. Mm. Right now, we are standing at South Gate. South Gate, last year, we have started the conservation work. And at least we need two and three years. So after two and three years, we will complete and hand over to a French authority. Yes, sir. Last year, ICC experts suggested us to propose some structure also. Mm. So in coming December, ICC experts will again visit and we are try to, to propose some structure. If they approve, we will take up the conservation work of that structure. Yes, sir. Too. And uh, because, uh, you, know, um, you know, for the past uh, few years, uh, many Indian you know, tourists come to visit Angkor, sir. And um, because uh, of the restoration at Taprum, do you see a lot of Indian tourists coming to Taprum, you know, more than other temples? Let's say proportionally, not more than, but proportionally? Definitely. Yes. Since then, we have started this work mm. uh, from since 2004. So from that time, uh, day by day, Indian tourists is increasing mm. and boost up the economy of uh, Cambodia. Yes, sir. But when it comes to the Prum, uh, which part of the temple do they like the most? Uh, only the temple, only the tree itself? Or uh, they want uh, to see, uh, you know? Particularly, they are visiting Angkor Wat, mm. Ta Prom, and other tree. Yes, sir. And, and they feel proud. Mm. That's our country is uh, assisting to the Cambodia. Yes, sir. In, uh, and this project is uh, doing in cooperation with our financial authority. Yes, sir. And also maybe my uh, last question also, so because, um, you know, uh, even though Cambodia is now predominantly Buddhist, but, you know, it, uh, it has been a time for, for many centuries already that Hinduism was a very, very big religion in Cambodia. I mean, as a... Uh, presented in the temples around Cambodia and beyond. So, um, as an Indian person, uh, you know, whose uh, country is uh, also predom predominantly uh, Hindu, sir, uh, when you come to Cambodia, how do you feel, sir, when you see, you know, your, your culture being transmitted, you know, across the ocean and on, on the mainland, you know, let's say uh, Southeast Asia? I already explained to you, yes, sir. whenever we are coming here, so we feel closer to our religion. Mm. Prior to our religion, but irrespective of any religion, being an expert, we are conserving all the temple. All the temple. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, whether uh, it is Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim, everything. Mm. What is her, the assignment given to us? Uh, we are trying to give the best technique and conserve yeah. in proper way. Yes, sir. And also the last question, last question, sir. Many Indian people know about Uncle Wat, uh, you know, in India. Like, do, do they know a lot about Angkor Wat from the media, from books or something like that, let's say? Before they don't know more, but uh, now mm. the, from Indian side, Cambodian side, uh, they are doing the more publicity. Right mm. now they are doing all. They are all know the, uh, particularly uh, Angkor Wat and this Taprom Temple. Mm. Yeah. Yes, sir. So they are more familiar with the Taprom Temple and Angkor Wat as well. I see. So they are gradually knowing more and more yeah, about yeah. the region yeah. of Angkor Wat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, sir.
when did you first hear about Angkor Wat? So because so you said that okay, you were born during the 1980s, but you know 1982. 82, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. So uh, maybe uh, the sim a similar year when uh, you know the Indian team came to restore Angkor Wat. Sir. So um, how did you hear the word Angkor Wat for the first time, sir? So after completing my qualification, many of I joined our department, Archaeological Survey of India. Mm -hmm. That time I heard that say our team bio work at Angkor Wat. Mm -hmm. So okay. since then I knew. So having our Angkor Wat in Cambodia, if I got chance, then I should visit there. Mm -hmm. So I already mentioned that say, uh, from 1980. Uh, our team had taken up the work of Angkor Wat and after doing all the technical study, documentation, uh, physically we have started work in 1986 mm. and 1986 to 1993 we have completed the restoration work of Gallery of Samudra Manthan. Yes sir. And then after completing uh, our project in 1993 our team go back to India. Yes, sir, but you know, you mentioned that you also restored, you know, some part of uh, the temples at Bagan in Myanmar and also, you know, the former kingdom of Champa in Vietnam. So after, let's say, you, you know, you, you restore those uh, part and now coming to uh, the Angkor region in Siem Reap, sir, do you think the work here is different or is it, you know, more or less the same, sir, in terms of archaeology? I already mentioned that, sir, our ASI team has been working in Bagan. Mm. Bagan there have one Ananda fire, mm. Ananda temple. So there, uh, first of all, uh, first time our team uh, went in 2010, and after doing all the documentation work, technical study, they have commenced the work in 2012. Mm. I first time visited Myanmar Bagan in 2015. Since 2015 to 2020, I work there. Mm. And uh, m uh, our team conserve the Ananda fire because you know very well that uh, yeah, Bagan is the seismic zone. Always earthquake is coming, so always crack coming, develop or foundation failure, lots of. Mm. So when when we were conserving that time again earthquake came mm. and again we restore all the temple complex. So right now our team is also working there. Right now uh, they are. You know very well that in the year 2016, again earthquake came. So mm -hmm. right now our team is doing the conservation work of earthquake damage pagora. So you restore and then the natural disaster came and then yeah, you yeah, again, 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 yeah, again yeah. we restore mm. using the same technique. As uh, you mentioned already, I work in Vietnam. Mm. Vietnam uh, from Da Nang, Mission have near about 50, 40 to 50 kilometers. So there we uh, conserve the Champa temples. Champa temple. Champa but the Champa so, temple and so all, temple? So all the yeah. temples uh, maximum belong yeah. to the Lord Shiva. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I would like to mention here the Bagan temple made of brick mm. and Champa temple uh, made of brick. Only some Lord bearing members say uh, door jam, linter made of stones. But mostly temple made of bricks. Mm. But this one is but made of stone. But here only stone. Like stone. Like yeah, stone. Yeah. So, the technique, so having the different, yeah, yeah. Uh, different technique, different test. Yeah. Mm. You already mentioned that India have a lot of techniques. Brick temple has also composite masonry, also stone temple also. So we didn't face any problem mm. in order to conserve these temples. So the technique you just uh, learn what you have learned in India and then apply here. Yeah, no, yeah, no yeah. problem. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, the following question, sir, just uh, from your idea also. You know, when Indian people, uh, you know, come to Siem Reap, they want to see, you know, specific part of the Angkor Wat temple, let's say, you know, uh, Tariyat, you know, which is a Shiva statue or maybe, you know, the, the gallery of uh, Mahayana or Mahaparata. Is that, you know, what Indian people are looking for when they come to Cambodia? So, when you are first time any, any yeah. Indian tourist coming here, first they want to visit Angkor Wat. Mm. Because Angkor Wat uh, belongs to Vishnu temple. Yes, sir. And they are having lots of panels, such as Ramayana panels, eh, Mahabharata panels, eh, Krishna and Asuravar panels, eh, mm. Samudra Manthan panels. So lots of panels they have. So if any tourist coming here, if they have very less time, first they want to visit Angkor Wat. Mm. If they have more time, they want to explore other temples such as Taprom, Bayon and other temples uh, mm. having in this uh, Angkor Park area. Yes, sir. And, uh, from and what, particularly, yeah, I, yeah. I would like to mention, already I mentioned that 
Kulen Mountain have ah. thousand civil siblings. Yes, yes. So the they, if siblings. they have time, they also want to go there and visit. Yeah. yeah. So, so when they go to the Kulen Mountain, is it only for the tourist, uh, you know, attraction, or you know, they believe that okay, the water is uh, really sacred to them? So first, yeah. first uh, they want to visit the thousand linga. Yeah. And then uh, explore the tourist attraction there because they have mm. the natural uh, beauty. So they also want to go and uh, view the aesthetic view of that uh, forest also. Yes, sir. And also you mentioned that uh, coming to Ang uh, Te the Angkor Wat Temple, uh, the Indian tourists they also wish to pray to to Lord Shiva something like that, sir. When you heard if any uh, Hindu people go to any temple, they want to uh, they want to offer pray. And offer some uh, ST throats, but they are having some restrictions. So only mm -hmm. they want to visit and uh, and right, pray, right. and uh, after taking a take around, go back to our yes, India sir. place. Yes, sir. And maybe the last question also, sir. Uh, if the Cambodian, you know, people were to promote the Angkor archaeological site to the Indian market, which which part of the the park? I mean, which part of the Angkor Park should be promoted more? You know, in order to attract. The attention of Indian uh, tourists, let's say, so from your idea, no problem. Because I already mentioned yeah. Angkor Wat, Tapram, mm. and also having the, some monuments belonging to our Indian religions. If they promote, then more tourists will come here and visit. Uh, yes, sir. And also, uh, I met you know um, a few uh, specialists before, and they said that um, the stones they can speak to us. You know, like. Uh, I mean, they, they don't literally speak to us, but they, you know, they, they contain information. Uh, they contain, you know, what they have gone through, where they come from. So, from a the perspective of, of a restorer, in what way do you think that they talk to you, sir? Let's say. So here you already yeah. mentioned that most of the temple complex we yeah. are constructed in the 11th to 12th century. Most of the temples mm. have constructed, and if you look behind me. You can so observe, this is, this you can the observe there. The entrance, yeah, 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 this is the tower portion of the entrance. And all the stone itself is speaking. So, here having little bit gap, here having noise. So, what problem they have, they are itself speaking, okay? Mm. Being an expert, you can observe. You go and simply understand, go understand and stand there and you can, they easily say their story to you, okay? So I already explained that this one nose, this one eyes, this one having crack, this one having gap. Mm. So being an expert, you can understand their feeling. Mm. Then whatever solution you have, you can implement. So that we can conserve this structure in proper way. Yes, sir. And also uh, because, you know, they say that, okay, Angkor is a place to revisit, sir. Let's say, you know, some tourists, okay, they might come for one time and then they said, okay, I visited, you know, some major temples and uh, that, that can be all. So when revisited Angkor, do you think that people should go somewhere beside the temple itself? You know? Because if uh, someone coming first time, mm -hmm. they have curiosity, okay? Mm. To go and visit. Yes. If one you visited, their curiosity <laughs> less, okay? Mm. But as I feel, I already explained that uh, if anyone coming here, have Angkor Wat, have uh, Taprom had, uh, uh, Bayan have, uh, uh, Prekha have, Priviha have, uh, Kulen Mountain have. So there are lots of. Uh, mm. So Cambodia is rich in the cultural heritage. Okay. Yes, sir. So tourists have the lots of space to come and visit. So it's, uh, it's yeah. a full of any, any natural resources. Okay. Mm. So whenever tourists will come, they will not feel bored here. So I urge and request all the tourists to come here and visit. So not just one time, but many, many, yeah, many, times, time, many, if, many if times. They can, uh -huh. If they can, yes. Sir. Because one time they can't explore all. Okay. Mm. So they need to come many, many times and explore all the structure.